The tone was friendly. Jeremy Corbyn was extremely engaging. He looked interested. He said some new words in his interview tonight. But there were no actions to go with the words yet again. And that was why we felt the meeting had been a real missed opportunity and a great disappointment. So he called it positive and constructive. Was he wrong to call it positive and constructive? Was he in a different meeting from the one you were in? Positive, yes. But if you measure constructiveness by the actions to go with the words, then I don't think that's what I would call it. OK, he says, I mean, he clearly thinks he has listened and, and is working on it. I have charged our new General Secretary, Jenny Formby, with improving our disciplinary procedures. We will lay out the further steps we're taking in the coming weeks. Now, what is wrong with that? I mean, it, it, it is a big party. It has to decide how it's going to deal with this. It can't just take a list of measures from you and just implement them No, they've, they've said they're going to take on an in-house council, but the job's only just been advertised. Uh, we're talking of possibly several hundred outstanding disciplinary proceedings, some of which have been hanging fire for a year or more. Look, thousands of Jews did not demonstrate in Parliament Square for a few lawyers and a newspaper is, article. Is, is it your feeling that the delaying, the, 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 the slow progress as you see it, is that your feeling that that is political because they're a bit reluctant to do it, or just because it's a, it's a big political party, a bit bureaucratic and it takes a lot of time? A little bit of both. Um, there was a very frank recognition from, Jer from Jenny Formby, the new General Secretary, that until recently, Labour's disciplinary processes were not fit for purpose. So we welcome the fact that they're trying right. to make them fit for purpose. One of the things we asked for was an independent ombudsman who could resolve any issues if things were going too slowly or people hadn't been brought to book. And on that, there was a pretty clear no. Right. Um, tell me, look, is there a bit of... Po is it possible there's a bit of politics mixed up in this? Because one does meet this sense that a lot of people will completely recognise there are genuine concerns, but there's all that they will think meshed in with all of that is a slight sense that a lot of people don't like Corbyn are using this. Can you persuade those people that there is no politics? It's not about Corbyn and your dislike of him. Well, the Jewish community's only interest is in protecting and defending the Jewish community. The Board of Deputies calls out anti-Semitism, wherever it may be. And we've done it and we do it in all political parties. Yeah. And you only had to look at the Westminster debate last week when you saw a trail of members, mainly from the Labour Party, complaining yeah. about the anti-Semitism that their MPs have encountered. Also Andrew Gwynne, who was behind the table tonight, mm. he on the front bench accepted that there was a problem. And Jeremy Corbyn himself He's accepted. That he's been very, problem. very explicit. He accepts yeah. the problem, and it's not just a, a way of smearing. I mean, he's been very explicit. OK, last question. Could you imagine voting Labour? Well, I might vote all sorts of ways. Could you like imagine most voting British Labour? Right at the moment, no. And I think my views are shared by almost all members of Britain's Jewish community many of whom were long-standing Labour Party members and finally felt they could remain in the party no longer. And is that only because of the anti-Semitism? Or yes. will pe people, it, because people might say, well, that proves you're not one of, not one of us, we don't want to be, we, uh, and you're telling us how to run our party. No, you know, you might not particularly approve of all of Jeremy Corbyn's policies, but to tear up your membership card in the Labour Party and, by implication, vote for a different party. That's a pretty far-reaching step, but I know many, many Jewish people who've played long roles in a Labour Party have done it. Jonathan Akush, thank you very much indeed. Thanks.